In this video, we'll be looking into approximation algorithms for NP hard problems. Uh, specifically, uh, we'll be discussing about knapsack problem here. So, knapsack problems are well known NP hard problems. Uh, it it has n items of known weights from W1 to Wn and values or profits are there V1 to Vn with a capacity of W that is the sack capacity. So, main objective is to find most valuable subset of items with maximum profit. With maximum profit profit or value it is specified here only most valuable subset of items so there are two versions of here uh, this uh, knapsack problem that is zero one knapsack zero one knapsack is also called as discrete discrete knapsack okay uh, then we have functional fractional knapsack that is continuous knapsack in discrete knapsack either it is zero or one either the uh, that particular weight or item is considered or discarded that is zero or one it cannot be divided but then coming to fractional knapsack or continuous knapsack, the items are divided, the items are divisible to largest fraction. So we'll look into this in a further video, further part. So let's speak of the discrete knapsack problem with greedy uh, algorithm. So firstly, uh, looking at the steps, first step is to compute the value to weight ratio. That is V by W we compute. Yes, that is our first step. Second, we arrange them in a non-increasing order. Arrange them in non-increasing order. This V by W ratio. After that, uh, if item fits in the knapsack, then place it and proceed to next item. Else, ignore it and move forward to next item. Here, they have given example. The item, four items are there. W weights are given, values are given. I'll calculate V by W. So, if I calculate V by W, 42 by 7, I get 6. 12 by 3, I get 4. 40 by 4, I get 10. And 25 by 5, I get 5. So now if you look at V by W ratio, it is not in uh, increase, it is not in uh, decreasing order. I should get it to decreasing order. So I'll sort this. So when I sort this, uh, item 3 will come first, followed by item 1, then item 4 and then item 2. That is V by W ratio 10, 6, 5, 4. This is sorted now. Now capacity weight is 10. They have specified here. Now I should start uh, filling into the sack. So consider a sack here. I have taken a sack here with uh, weight capacity as 10. If I put item 1, item 1, weight is 4. If I put item 1, weight is 4, I can store it. Here, 10 is the capacity. I am storing weight, uh, weight of 4. Okay, it is acceptable. Here, value is 40. Next, after storing item 1, I am left out with only 6. Uh, only I can store uh, items of 6 capacity, 6 weight. Coming to second item, here I have item 2. That is the next item. Item i plus 1 is 7. Item 1. Item 3 I am stored first. I stored item 3 first. Next I have item 1. Item 1 has weight of 7. But here capacity is 6. Can I store 6 and 7? No, it cannot be added. So uh, the value would be the same and weight would be the same. I will, I will not store the first item. Next moving on to item 4. Item 4 has weight of 5. Here uh, available space is 6. So 6 minus 5, I can store 5 there. I can store uh, item 4 there. So when item 4 is added, its profit also should be added or weight should be, value should be added. So 25 plus 40, I get 65 here. Next, capacity for sack is 1. Next, uh, item 2, I have uh, weight as 3. Capacity is 1 and weight is 3. Can I store it? It is not possible. So this is where we, re we reach the end. So total weight, uh, out of out of 10 weights I have occupied, I was, I was able to fill 9 by 10 weight and then the profit here maximum profit which we have obtained is 40 plus 25 that is 65 so this was about discrete knapsack problem let's move on to continuous knapsack problem now so continuous knapsack problem with greedy algorithm so it is same, first step is same as uh, greedy second step is also same as greedy that is to arrange a non -increase, increasing order but the third step is to repeat the following operation until knapsack is filled to its fullest capacity that, that is in previous discrete one one uh, 9 by 10 of the capacity was filled but then here we have to fill it to maximum capacity such that no item is left in sorted list so if the current item on the list fits into the knapsack entirely then fill it if not then we have to take largest fraction to fill the knapsack to its fullest capacity and then stop it so looking at this example first we have item 3 we have item 3, we filled it. So, uh, capacity was 10. Item 3 weight was 4. So, 10 minus 4, 6 is remaining now. Uh, the value is 40. Yeah, we know this. Then I have item 1. So, item 1 has weight of 7. But 6 is availability. 
7 is the item weight so I should take 6 by 7 that is the largest fraction I can store it here so if I can store 6 by 7 of item 1 the value also alters here so it will be 42 into 6 by 7 that is I get 36 so here I'll add 40 plus 36 that is 76 so now all the uh, the total the complete uh, knapsack capacity is utilized here 10 by 10 I have completely filled it and the profit is 76 here if you compare it with discrete uh, continuous knapsack provides an optimal solution so uh, for a discrete condition we need uh, approximation shed, uh, schemes in case of discrete knapsack condition we'll look into what approximation scheme is so uh, the first approximation scheme was uh, suggested by uh, um, S.A.H. Sahni in 1975. So this algorithm uh, generally generates all subsets of K items or less and for each one that fits into knapsack it adds uh, the remaining items as greedy algorithm would do as greedy algorithm would do that is a non-increasing order of V by W ratio. The subset of highest value obtained in this fashion is returned as um, returned as out algorithm output uh, we have this particular um, expression which says f of s star by f of s to the base a to the power k should be greater than uh, should be less than or equal to 1 plus 1 by k this is the accuracy ratio it should obey this condition we'll look into a problem we'll understand this better so same problem i have taken here uh, it is already sorted um, 10 6 5 4 done so my first step that I'll do is uh, example this is uh, example of approximation scheme I should select k value so if I select k value as 2 let's see what happens and w value as 10 we know this so if I select k value as 2 for the first subset that is 0 I will take uh, 451 weight of 451 that is 40 plus 25 plus 4 if I take 4 plus 5 plus 1 weights uh, the possible added items here would be 1, 3 and 4. 1, 3, 4 items are added and the value which I get is 69. Then 4, I retain 4 as it is. I will check if any other values can be added. 4 is retained as it is. If I add 5 and 1, okay, 4 is there before only. I will take 3 and 4 now. 3 and 4 are added items. 3 and 4 are added items. I will get 69 again because weights are 5 and 1. Next. I have 7. Now 4, 5, 1 I have played with it. Now let me take 7. 7 is already there. Uh, now the weight capacity here is 10. No, 10. The sack capacity is 10. 7. Can I add 4? No, it will exceed 10. Can I add 5? It will exceed 10. I can add 1. So 7, 1 I can add. 7 plus 1 I can add. So when I add 1, I am uh, including the 4th item here. So when I include 4th item, 42 plus 4, I get 46. Yeah. Next, assuming that 5 is already there. So this... Um, total weight is 10 here also total weight is 10 here total weight is 8 so this much I am done next I will take total weight is, as 10 assuming that uh, 5 is constant so keeping 5 as constant again with the same numbers we are intershifting it and playing it again so uh, this I will be considering 1 and 3 here again I will be considering 1 and 4 here again it will be 69 the total uh, V value here again assuming that uh, 1 is uh, 1 is already there I will include 4 and 5 item 1 is weight of 1 is already there 4 weight 4 and weight 5 are included that is uh, item 1 and item 3 are included I will get 69 as it is if I include uh, if I add 7 plus 4 7 plus 4 if I include I will get 11 item 1 and item 2 that is not feasible because it is greater than the uh, sack capacity you no know? so I cannot include this next I will take item 1 and item 4 so I will take item 4 um, and item like 5 plus 4 5 plus 4 item 3 and item 1 are already there I will take item 4 included so that is 9 here plus 1 I will get 10 here the total weight capacity and here the profit would be uh, 69 only that is because I am adding 40 plus 4 uh, 40 plus 4 plus 25 I will get 69 here also same case I am taking 1 comma 4 item 1 and item 4 that is 4 plus 1 is constant 5 is there already if I include uh, again item 3 I would get 69 again. Next, if I include uh, 2 and 3, item 2 and item 3, 7 plus 5, I will get 12. But 12 is greater than the weight capacity, the sack capacity, so it is not feasible. Then coming to 2 and 4, I am keeping item 2 and item 4. 7 plus 1, 8. 7 plus 1, I am taking. So, uh, it can't be added because uh, 7 plus 1, 8. Uh, like, if I add 7 plus 1, 8, yes. 
both are included can i add 4 and 5 no 4 and 5 cannot be added possible added items cannot be uh, i cannot consider them so i will get 46 only as the profit here or the value here next i'll consider 3 and 4 item 3 and item 4 5 plus 1 6 so if i consider 5 plus 1 6 6 is the weight that is remaining is 10 minus 6 is 4 i have so there is possibility of adding fourth item here so if i add fourth item here that is sorry the item 1 here i will get 69 so this was about the approximation scheme so the algorithm here is uh, algorithmic efficiency here is order of k into n power k plus 1 here k depends on what we are selecting okay so in this question we took k as the value of s2 so optimal solution if i have to write uh, we are mostly we are playing with 1 3 and 4 only here so i can write 1 3 and 4 items are the optimal solutions here the weight is 10 and the maximum profit which I can get is 69. So this was about uh, the approximation scheme and uh, in this video if I, if I have to summarize we discussed about a greedy method, we discussed about approximation uh, method, in greedy method we discussed about discrete and continuous. So uh, it was overall uh, review, overall discussion about approximation algorithms for NP hard problem that is knapsack problem. If you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.